Hey everyone, Victor is here and in this video I want to talk about this synthesis over here where we are going to start with this hexane dioic acid, also called adipic acid if you like the common names, and as a result of several steps we are going to be making cyclopentanone. So if you want to work through the synthesis first, make sure you pause the video because I am going to start with my preliminary analysis right now. And since I am going from the open chain molecule to a cycle, I know that the key step on this synthesis is going to be a cyclization reaction. And since we are working with the carboxylic acids and carboxylic acid derivatives here, based on the functional groups that I have in my starting material, the most likely reaction that is going to be my key step here is going to be the Dickman condensation reaction, which is essentially the same as the Gleisen condensation, but that is an intramolecular version reaction, so it's going to make a cycle. We also know that the Dickman condensation is the reaction of esters, which kind of paints my picture already here, so I know that my first step is going to be the esterification of my carboxylic acid. So what I'm going to do here, I will start with a simple Fischer esterification using my ethanol as an alcohol in the presence of tazylic acid as my catalyst, and as a result I'm going to get the following ester. Now, for the purposes of the Dickman condensation, we are going to be analyzing one of our alpha positions. We have have one alpha position over here, and we have the second alpha position over there, and since my molecule is completely symmetrical, it really doesn't matter which alpha position I consider for my Dickman condensation. And if I number my molecule 1 through 6, and let's say I am going to go with this alpha position on carbon number 2, in the course of the Dickman condensation, I am going to end up making a new carbon-carbon bond between that alpha position carbon number 2 and my carbon number 6, which overall going to give me a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 membered ring, which is precisely what we want. And of course, in order to do my Dickman condensation, I am going to bring the base, sodium ethoxide here, and then after my acidic workup to neutralize my intermediate, I am going to get the following 5 membered ring. And if I renumber my atoms 1 through 6 consistent with what I had in my original starting material here, I see that I've made a new bond between carbons 2 and 6, just the way I wanted. So I'm going to say that this one over here that is my new bond, so I'm going to mark it as so. And of course now the only thing that is left for us is to perform the decarboxylation reaction to get rid of that carbon number one and ester with that, so in order to do my decarboxylation that's actually going to be a multi-step process. So first I'm going to start by hydrolyzing my ester to the corresponding carboxylate, then I'm going to neutralize to the carboxylic acid, and finally, I'm going to raise the temperature just a little bit to do the decarboxylation and get my final product. So, as you can see, this is a fairly straightforward synthesis for as long as you recognize that you got to do the Dickman condensation here as your key step. Now, I do have a bit of a challenge here for you. How can you modify a single step on the synthesis and end up with that extra methyl group on our final product? Let me know what you're thinking in the comments below. And as always, thank you for watching. If you learned something new today, hit that like button and subscribe for more. Check out this video next and I will see you next time.